guys, so we've come outside um, and we're going to talk about the uh, kettlebell snatch. So on Wednesday, we're going to be doing the tactical strength challenge and one of the uh, portions of this test is a five minute uh, snatch, kettlebell snatch test. So as many reps as you can do uh, in five minutes. So the snatch is a, can be a tricky exercise. Uh, there's a couple of common faults that we see and today we just want to go through them uh, to help you to avoid those faults so you can make a good score on the test on Wednesday. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to look at is a correctly executed uh, kettlebell snatch. Shirtless is optional. Tristan, let's go. Snatch. Okay guys, so a couple of things that we're looking at here is that Tristan has got a nice big hip drive and then as he finishes, the kettlebell is in a straight line over his shoulders. Okay, so we're going to talk about some of the uh, errors that we see. The first one is the kettlebell uh, moving too far away from the body. So here we're going to see Tristan do some swing, uh, some snatches. And notice here, the kettlebell is very far away from him as it goes up. And let's just show some correct ones now with the kettlebell close. So you see the difference there, this is much more uh, efficient. Uh, so another issue that we see is that the hips are not engaged properly because there's too much focus on the arms uh, and then there's way less speed. So we're going to see Tristan give us a couple of examples. So what you'll see here is that he's not really pushing his hips behind him. He's not generating any power from the hips and it's much harder for him to lock out the, the the kettlebell overhead so let's see some good ones again so you can see that he's initiating now with his hips he's bending over and that's what's driving the kettlebell up into the overhead position okay so the last thing we're going to talk about is the overhead position um, so we need to make sure in the overhead position that we have a, a line between the hand and the foot uh, and you don't let the kettlebell move your shoulder around so again we're going to see Tristan give us some examples here where his you can see that his lockout position is either too far forward or there you can see a great example the kettlebell pushes him out of position there which is not very shoulder friendly so again we'll see some good ones and you can see now how he's really controlling that overhead position nice and strong and safe